Let's take a look at multiplication and the end gate output. In multiplication, 0 times 0 equals 0. In an end gate with two inputs, if input 1 is 0 and input 2 is 0, then your output will be 0, because 0 ended with 0 will give you a 0. The next number up would be 0 times 1. 0 times 1 is equal to 0. In an AND gate, if one input is 0 and the other input is a 1, then 0 ended with a 1 will give you a 0. Next. If you have a 1, multiply times 0, that equals 0. In an AND gate, if one input is 1 and the other input is a 0, and you end them together, then 1 AND ended with 0 will give you a 0. In multiplication, if you multiply 1 times 1, you're going to get a 1. In an AND gate, if one input is 1 and the other input is a 1, 1 AND, or 1 ended with a 1, will give you a 1. So the AND gate output mirrors or perfectly reflects the corresponding multiplication output. This is George Bull. Thanks for listening, and bye-bye.